Well, hello and welcome to another edition of How Well Do You Know Your Teammate? And in this situation, it's How Well Do You Know Your Colleague? As we are joined by the head equipment manager of the San Jose Barracuda, Mike Murphy. What's up, Murph? How are you, How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing all right. We're just, uh, we're just chilling here out in the porch, um, enjoying some beautiful California weather. Have you, you've been sticking around uh, at your place in California, haven't made your way back east and getting rewarded with some good weather. A-Rod, our assistant equipment manager, Austin Rodriguez, the right-hand man for Murph. What's going on, Rodder? How are you? Oh, we just got photo mode again. There you go. We're getting your beautiful face. We've got a yeah. A what's up, man? <laughs> How are you? We're back to video. Yeah, I was I was getting a phone call on the other line. I had to decline them, of course, right at the right time. But uh, <laughs> no, we're good, man. Just hanging around home, starting to get bored, dude. I'm running out of projects to do, and uh, but it's been good, enjoying the time, hanging out with the family and stuff. So it's been good. Yeah, it's kind of a weird situation because you are enjoying time around your family, but you know everybody's kind of itching to get back to some normalcy in their life. So, hopefully, we're we're nearing the end. But uh, again, I, I guess it's it's a little bit unknown. Nobody really knows the answers. But are you guys ready to test your knowledge? How well you really know each other? Yeah, let's send it. Let's do it. All right. So, for every question that you get correct, so. Most of them are directed towards one person. The other person's got to know the correct answer. But for every question that you guys get correct, so you both get the same answer, you earn a point. There's 20 total questions. See how many points you can get. Your goal at this point is to try to get more than 13. Try to get a better record and a better point total than Nikolai Kanishov and Sasha Shemolevsky, who are our first guests on how well you know your teammates. You guys, uh, you guys think you could be 13? That's we'll tough, give it, man. We'll give, a, we'll give it a go. Those two, those two are hanging out together all the time. So I mean, I feel like they got some good. Uh, I feel like they got a good connection. Yeah, they got a special bond. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't know. I feel like you guys, uh, you guys should know uh, a lot of details about each other's lives, being the fact that you've got to uh, got to basically live with each other on a full time basis when the season's going on. But let's let's just get this thing started. So, question number one. Who did Murph, Murph work for prior to being hired by the Barracuda? So who was the hockey team that Murph worked for prior to joining the Barracuda? So Can we when, just say when, it or write it down? Write it, write it down and then show the screen when it looks like you guys are both completed. Nope. I'll, I'll count it down to three and, and you guys can reveal your answers. The make and mayhem. <laughs> Roder jumped the gun. The making man. That is correct. You guys are one for one. So you've got one point. Good start. Okay. Question. Uh, today, number the date of the film, I, just, I just posted a uh, date of filming this three year anniversary of our, of our championship run. Um, that, so that was, that was a pretty cool thing to uh, wake up to this morning. Give, it, give us a little bit of a backstory, Murph, on what life was like quickly uh, in the SPHL where you did capture a championship before you joined the Barracuda. Um, you know, it gets, we get a lot of flack, you know, either you, know, you hear some of the horror stories or everything like that. But, like, that organization, like, we just – we had the right group of people in place um, between staff. We had operated as a well-oiled machine, had everyone's backs – um, and that was, that transpired right into the locker room too. Like all the boys had each other's back. That was, that was the, well, that was a true team. Um, and we just, the whole year we just, it was just, a, it was just a great year. And, you know, I, I think you kind of model any championship team kind of off of what we had in that locker room as far as uh, like personnel and as far as just the kind of vibe you had in the locker room every day. Yeah, it is interesting how that works. It almost seems like if the camaraderie, not only among teammates, but also among staff and everything kind of jives together and meshes together, it, it's kind of uh, incredible how, uh, how things can come together and how a team can kind of gel and hit the right stride at the right time. Okay, question number two. You guys are one for one, so that's a good start. Question number two. What professional trade did A-Rod work in before becoming a full-time member of the Barracuda. So I guess a full-time member as a hockey profession prior to that, what trade did a rod work in before he was, before he was a member of the sharks organization, before he was a member of the sharks organization. Yes. 
this we're gonna have to cut a lot of this out i think there's gonna be a lot of banter <laughs> that hey that is what we need we'll just have to try to keep it pg-13 okay oh. roger you gotta you gotta wait yeah. but we'll, he jumped the gun again but we couldn't we couldn't read it anyway so the count of three it looks like both you guys are ready so the count to three you're one for one on the count of three one two three reveal your answers welding welding well done boys well done you are two four two good job okay we'll move on question number three what women's professional hockey team did murph work for in buffalo what was the name of that professional hockey team that murph worked for in buffalo when you guys both look like you're ready i'll count it down to three okay okay on the count of three one two three reveal your answers the buffalo buttes buffalo buttes that is correct Maybe maybe I did maybe I was too easy on you guys. Okay, good start. You're three for three. <laughs> okay. Uh, question number four. What is A Rod's favorite ride at Disneyland? Oh hell yeah. What is A Rod's favorite ride at Disneyland? Was it the fast pass? Is that what they call it? Is that a ride? <laughs> I don't believe that's the ride. I believe that gets you gets you to the front of the line. I I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know this one. <laughs> I hear every time I hear I hear Disneyland, and then my brain turns off. <laughs> okay, we know Rodder's a big Disney guy. So what is his favorite ride when he has any time off? That's where he's going. So on the count of three, we'll count it up to three. One, two, three. Reveal your answers. I got Space Mountain. Space Mountain. Oh my God! Oh Let's my go, goodness! Man. Wow! Hell yeah! Baby. Wow! Let's Good go. job, fellas. I'm impressed, Murph. I'm impressed. That was a that was a heck of an answer. You guys are perfect so that far. Was, I knew you guys. I say a shot in the dark. <laughs> you know what? I Maybe the most popular uh, popular ride uh, at Disneyland, and Murph Murph nails it. So hey. Uh, I figured you guys knew uh, a lot about each other. Way to go, Murph. Good answer. Okay, we'll move on. Question number five. You guys are four for four. What is Murph's dream car? <laughs> so question number five. What is Murph's dream car? And when you guys both look like you're ready, count to three and we can reveal. Okay. Okay. On the count of three. One, two, three. Reveal your answers. Mustang. Mustang. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Nailed it. Been, so been guys... working on it. Been working on it uh, with the time off. She's uh, she's gonna sound a hell of a lot better uh, in the coming weeks. So that'll be taken to work a few times once uh, once she gets up and running fully. Yeah, Murph, you did get an upgrade a little bit. Maybe not an upgrade in your mind, but in terms of uh, the year the car was uh, produced. You did get an upgrade this past season, but you're still holding on to the Mustang. Oh, the Mustang is not going anywhere. That will be with me <laughs> for the rest of my life. <laughs> okay, you guys are doing good. Five for five. I'm impressed. Okay, question number six. What is A-Rod's least favorite food? Oh, yeah. yeah. I well, think if you're at the Christmas party, you'll know this. <laughs> I've got a couple that I, I had. There's a, there's, there's a lot, though. Yeah. Yep. There is a lot. I'll give you that. This is where this question could uh, go. The answer could go I already, wrote, I already wrote mine down. I'm not changing it. Okay. All right. On, uh, I put – Noli, I put two answers, like a, a one slash two. I'm going to let that slide because I've got two in my head that I think would be uh, yeah. the appropriate answer for both I think you'll probably have both of them. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is Rod's least favorite food? One, two, three, reveal. Fish and chicken. Fish and chicken. Those were my two guesses. We'll give him the yeah. point. Murph got chicken. Nailed it. He said Christmas party, and I think that gave away the fish side of it because yeah, uh, we go to good. Kyoto gonna, Palace. I was going to tag Foster Farms in this, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, Rod has, uh, Rod has a pretty good story. Maybe uh, we'll have to get into it uh, down the line. But you have a chicken story in your past that basically wiped chicken off the menu for the rest of your life. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct, man. I can't do it anymore. A lot of people try to get me to go back to it, but uh, yeah, I don't think that's ever going to get out of my head, but we'll get into that another time. <laughs> well, I don't know if uh, fans have seen him. They probably have that show 30 jobs. That, that, yeah. would, uh, that would be it. I think it could, I think it could have qualified for that show. Maybe. <laughs> All right, fellas, you are a perfect six for six. Um, this next one, probably a pretty easy one. Um, question number seven. What is Murph's favorite genre of music? (laughs) 
Okay, guys. Looks like yeah. uh, Rotter is ready. Let Murph finish up. All right. On the count of three. One, two, three. Reveal your answers. Metal, rock, screamo, whatever you call it. <laughs> nailed it boys well done well done you are a perfect seven for seven uh, maybe i just was too easy on you guys okay maybe get a little bit more tough we'll move on to question number eight now i thought this was originally a rod's uncle but I, I did get the clarification it is his dad's second cousin but who does a rod's dad's second cousin work for what professional hockey team does rodder's family member his dad's second cousin work for you guys are seven for seven so far. All right, Murph looks ready. Uh, on the count of three, one, two, three. Reveal your answers. Arizona, Arizona Coyotes. Coyotes. All right, fellas. Good work. So you are listening to each other. That's the good sign. You guys do listen to each other. And you are a perfect eight for eight so far. We'll move on to question number nine. This one may get a little bit tougher. Name the college that Murph received his undergrad degree from and began his equipment career. What college – did Murph get his undergrad and begin his equipment career? Question number nine. Can you guys go nine for nine to start? I do not know how to spell this, but I'm going okay. to send it anyway. <laughs> oh, we're definitely getting this one wrong. He doesn't know how to spell it. Hey, Rod, you, we could probably say that you did not go to this college if you could not spell it. No, um, yeah, I think we're going to get this one wrong. Ooh, Okay. I kind of coached him. You got to go with your first answer. I have a feeling uh, that he may – this is his undergrad. So, Murph does have a master's degree. So, his undergrad. Yeah, I got it. I got him backwards. So, this one's going to be wrong. Okay. Uh, here we go. Question number nine. Again, name the college that Mike Murphy attended and received his undergrad degree and also began his equipment career. On the count of three. One, two, three, reveal. I put Canisius, but I know I, that's backwards. Yep. I got him wrong. Yep, that is your first blemish, fellas, and that's what I figured Rod was gonna was gonna yeah. go. With. I thought that because he said it was a it was a tough word to spell, and I thought to myself, I don't think he's talking about New England. So, no. um, you guys are our first blemish. That's all right. You're still doing pretty good. You guys so far are eight for nine. So we're we're to the halfway point. Question number ten: What is a Rod's favorite? Disney movie. That's hard. I feel like he, he likes a lot of them. Oh, I, I, I have a guess that I'll reveal what if I was correct or not. But dude, it changes every day. Like you can't. No, this one hasn't changed, Murph. Just think about it. You know this. You just gave me. You just gave me crap for this. Oh, then I just changed it. I don't know. It's between. Whatever. Okay, we ready? I can't right. change it now. Yeah. What is Rod's favorite Disney movie? One, two, three, reveal. Cars. I went Toy Story. I would have went Toy Story. Okay, that was that was a pretty good that's guess. That's fair. That's fair. Because, I mean, this is why I said it changes. Because it's – it does. Yeah. I do love Toy Story. That's a hard – that's a hard push right behind Cars, I'd say, for me. <laughs> that was a pretty good guess. The Toy Story is a classic. They're both Pixar movies. Rod just had a uh, Rod just had a goalie map painted from uh, Dave here. Um, won a contest at our equipment meetings and had a whole mask painted with Lightning McQueen. And I've never wanted to. Is this a true story? Oh, this, this is, is a true story, story dude. So you yeah. got a goalie mask it, it, uh, in the works right now. Oh, it's done. It's oh, done. it's done. I I have not received it yet. It's still in Sweden, but uh, yeah, it's it's true, and it's gonna be right here on my shelf, right here. <laughs> right. Again, we'll have to see that once that gets uh, gets in the mail. All right, fellas, it's uh, it's back to back wrong answer. Still doing pretty darn good. You've got eight of a possible ten points. Moving on to question number eleven. What is Murph's biggest pet peeve? Oh. Oh, I, I got – I think I know one. <laughs> I don't even know this. <laughs> Please, Noli, can it – Noli, can it be music? You may have gave away your answer a little bit, but sure. No, I'm just asking because there's a lot of categories that he has pet peeves in, so yeah. I'm not – I'm really a miserable person. <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't like a lot of stuff, so. Uh, but I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the music category. Okay. How about that? I have a feeling uh, I know what uh, genre it is, but we'll find out in just a moment. The best one, dude. 
This this should have an asterisk on it. We definitely the banner we gave a little it away bit of wiggle room. room on this one. Okay, question number eleven. What uh, yes, is Murph's biggest pet peeve? On the count of three, one, two, three. Reveal. Country music. Country music. All right, we'll get we'll give you the point. I think that's deserved. Oh, that's uh, I think it's a half point. We'll, we'll, if, we'll put a little asterisk on it, but it'll it'll count. I think we count that. Okay, fellas. So so far. If you missed just two questions, you have nine of a possible 11 points. Let's move on to question number 12 here. What Disney soundtrack does A-Rod listen to before he goes to bed? <laughs> and Murph, you know he does that because he has uh, admitted to it multiple times. So what uh, Disney soundtrack? I I don't know. Um Okay, we just whatever comes to mind first. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Reveal your answers. Disneyland fireworks. What did I? Frozen. Frozen. That would, that would have been my guess. Disneyland fireworks soundtrack. Yeah, that that, would that is been, true. That would have been a tough one. I knew he did it. I just didn't know exactly what the song was. Okay. You guys have missed three so far. Still doing pretty darn good. Let's move on to question number 13. What month is Murph's birthday in? For the other guys, I made them say the exact date, but I figured let's, uh, let's make it a little bit more uh, reasonable. What month? All right. All right, here we go. One, two, three. What month is Murph's birthday in? September? August. Oh. One month off. Close. Was it August? Yeah. No, I lied. <laughs> I was going to put August. I was between August and September. I just couldn't remember which one it was. All right, boys, you are 9 for 13. So you are four points, four points behind Sasha and Nikolai for their point total. You are 9 for 13. Doing pretty good. Okay, let's move on to question number 14. Out of the two of you guys. Who would you say is the more organized of the two? All right, Murph, looks like you're ready. One, two, three, reveal. Me. <laughs> <laughs> we technically answered the same answer. Yeah, that's, that is true. That is true. Um, but unfortunately, the points are not earned. Still, have I'll, I'll give you so far through 14 questions. I think I'm more just particular of how I like things. Yeah, I'll give Murph that. He is very, very, he is very organized. I'll give him that. And he, he is very particular on how he does his stuff. So not, I'm not throwing shade, but yeah. <laughs> I think both of you guys have to be pretty organized in your profession. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a big part of what we do. And we can kind of turn our brain off from like a lot of uh, worrying about a lot of things, just because if we do the same thing in routine, it kind of, one less thing that we have to like consciously think about. So um, that is a big part of what we do is just being super like high detail, high organized. <clears throat> okay, fellas. Well, that one I'm not mad. I'm not mad about getting that one wrong. That that's. It could. I think it could have went either way. You guys are both pretty. Yeah. Ordered. Okay. Question number fifteen. What is Murph's favorite movie? Oh. Well, this this changes every every day almost. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, did you did you have a list of answers that you looked at? No, uh, some of them I had the answers. The other ones were going to be up in the air, but I do have a feeling okay. maybe one of the movies that you quote a lot would have been my guess if I was in your guys' shoes. I quote a lot of movies a lot of the time. Are you ready, Roder? Uh, this is. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna send a random one. I have no idea, man. I have no idea. I don't, I don't think I've ever watched a movie with them, so I'm not sure. Yeah, well, our movie tastes very, very different, very quite different, so. <laughs> I could see that. Okay, boys, uh, on the count of three. One, two, three, reveal your answers. Um, oh, I'm, I'm going to go with Rocky. Rocky, okay. Hey, those are two classics. I was thinking Murph was going to say Dumb and Dumber, but. Yeah, that, I mean, that's yeah. the thing. Like, it all depends that's a good one, too. Your favorite comedy movie, like, I – there's i i love a lot of movies um i haven't seen a whole like i'm not like a huge like library of movies guy but like i definitely have a lot that i love to watch like all the time um 
I know you and I quote Dumb and Dumber and Ace Ventura almost the entire bus trip. So um, <laughs> I mean, that would have been a very acceptable answer and no wrong answer there. That was a little bit of a tough one. Okay, we had some maybe some layups earlier, but maybe get a little bit more difficult. All right, boys, you have. Yeah, dad still needs to watch basketball. <laughs> I do. All right, boys, you have nine points uh, so far through 15 questions. You are going through a bit of a skid here, though. You've dropped your last four, but uh, maybe we can pick up some momentum. Um, question number 16 How many sib siblings, excuse me, does A Rod have? Pick one, two, three, reveal. One. One. Boom. Nailed it. All right. You're up to double digits. You are 10 for 16. We're down we're that final digits. stretch. All right. Now we're, now we're good. At least you did double digits. We're about we're yeah. going to be 500 or better. All right, yeah. boys. So if you nail your final four questions here, you will have surpassed Sasha and Nikolai. But you've got just sure. four questions left. No and you're curling them by three points. All right. Here we go. So question number 17, what state did Murph grow up in? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. He was all over the maps. That is true. I've spent – I've moved about quite a bit through hockey and work and school and everything, but that's, like, one of the coolest things I've done in my life was make the drive from back home out to – uh out here to California. That was, that was a life bucket list experience. So if anyone's got the chance to do that, please do it. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, Rod, you ready? What uh, state did Murph grow up in? Here we go. One, two, three, reveal. Uh, Buffalo, New York. Rod. Ooh. What? Ooh. I have a right, mate. No, he did. He just, my worked, leg. he just worked there, I guess. Dude, you've been so many places. It's so hard. <laughs> All right, fellas. He's done stuff uh, everywhere. You have 10 points so far through 17 questions. I have a New Hampshire magnet on the sharpener. <laughs> that is true. All right, boys, you ready? Question number 18. What? Yeah. Besides texting and talking, what does A-Rod use his phone the most for? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, All right. here we go. One, two, three, reveal. Instagram. Instagram. All right. What would have been a close second, Rod? Would you say maybe Snapchat? Yeah, I'd have to go uh, Instagram, then probably Snapchat. Are you on TikTok, Rod? That's... I am on TikTok. Yeah, I did. I got hooked on my it. sister's TikTok feed. Did you know that? Did I really? Yeah, with your BMW, blue, middle, white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, I got on TikTok about um, probably like a month ago. I got hooked. Man, I love it, dude. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> There's some interesting videos on there, dude. I haven't got on TikTok yet. I, I think I may be a little bit too old for that. But, uh, okay, we're moving on. Question number 19. Who does Murph consider to be the funniest player on the team? Oh, I had this conversation the other day. This was This was, like, actually difficult. Yeah, that's tough. There's a lot of funny guys actually on the team. Oh man, that was that's. I will say that was one of the strong. It's one of the strong points we had this year. We had a we had a whole locker room full of like funny and awesome dudes to be around. So that is. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go with my gut instinct on this one though. This is his guy, as he calls it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna guess this one. Okay. I'm locking in. All right, who does Murph find as the funniest player on the team? One, two, three, reveal your answer. Desi. Desi, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Desi gets a that, tick. All right, final question, guy. boys. For him, go Bills, as he would say. <laughs> yeah. Hey, see, I threw in a little buffalo for him. There you go, there you go. They do have that connection. Okay, question number 20, our final question. So you have 12 points right now. You have an opportunity to match – Nikolai and Sasha. Let's see if you guys can do it. And it goes along with the theme that we're all going through. If you could pick anyone to be quarantined with in the Sharks organization, who would A-Rod pick? And I think we can narrow it down to players. Doesn't need to be staff. I was going to say, because otherwise he'd be probably, probably Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, all right. Um, hmm. That's a tough one. 
That is a tough one. Man, I like a lot of the guys. I don't know. There's a good group of guys in there. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to do you guys a favor because we'll help each other out. Yeah. We'll, we'll limit it down to a player on the Barracuda. So that, that'll shrink your list a little bit. So it has to be somebody okay. on the Barracuda from this past season. Who would you want to be quarantined with? Okay. All right. I, I got mine. It's uh, – can it be a uh, – no, I can't say that because I'll give it away. Okay. All right. I got mine. Okay. You guys ready? Let's see if you can get up to 13. <laughs> Not yet. Give me a second. Uh... I'm – Can we narrow it down from forwards to D-men? No, that's too, that's nope. too much. That's All right, boys. All right, we're, we're – uh, We're cutting it close on time. Let's yep. – uh, I, I got mine. Okay. All right, let's see if you can get up to 13 points. Who on the Barracuda would Rod choose to be quarantined with if he had to choose one player? The count of three. One, two, three. Reveal your answer. Jacob Middleton. Oh, oh dude, I was going to say Peppa. So I was going with Peppa at first, and then I was like, well, me and, me and Mids, we, we just grind at each other like this, but it's so much fun. And uh, I was going to say the Middleton brothers when I was like, oh, can I do brothers? But then I was like, that's going to give it away, obviously. Um, but I, I literally almost did go with Peppa, so that's close. All right, boys, you got 12 out of possible 20 points. I think that's pretty respectable. You got off to a blazing start. You got the first eight questions correct, and then you kind of tapered off a little bit. I, but I thought you guys did pretty good. I was, a, it in the last hour. <laughs> I was yeah. impressed by that Disney uh, ride answer, Murph. I thought uh, that, was, uh, that was maybe the highlight in terms of pulling one out of the hat, a question that you yeah. didn't know the answer to. Um, but hey, boys, I think you did pretty respectable. Um, we appreciate you joining us on a, on another episode here of how well you know your teammate. Stay safe, boys. We look forward to seeing you very, very soon. And again, nice work. I think you guys, uh, I think you guys know each other pretty well. And next time we circle back around the wagons, I want an improved score out of twelve. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's let's go for that, was, man. That, 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 this, is, this is always a blast doing stuff like this. Like. We, I mean, this is this is fun to kind of – that we're included in it as well. Absolutely. Yeah. You guys have some of the best personalities on the team. Uh, we enjoy having you. Again, stay safe. Look forward to seeing you guys soon. All right. All right take, dude, care. Take, care. take care, guys. See ya. Appreciate it.